Elon Musk says that some version 2 mini satellites will be destroyed. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Misty Morning, and that is it. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a tech day. We're going to be talking about SpaceX, Starlink, and their version 2 minis that are currently in LEO or close to LEO, but might never make it. And while I was away, I was reading through an article that it was saying that Elon was launching another batch of satellites on the 24th, I believe. And that's today. And the number of units that were being launched was 56. And it was going out of Cape Canaveral, literally right down the road from us, about three hour trek from where I am right now. They were going to launch 56 Starlink satellites. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, what does that even mean? That doesn't make sense. Because we have now moved away from the version 1.5s. We're now on version 2, 2.0 minis. And they can't get 56 in a Falcon 9 rocket. It's not possible. The most, I believe, was 21. So what are they doing? So I was reading some other articles. And sure, damn enough, we figured out what was happening. And it's kind of sad. But... I guess it's to be expected, at least according to Elon, it is to be expected. So I want to get into that with you today and let you know what is going on with the new version 2 minis and why some of them will have to be destroyed. So before I get into it, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, go check them out and go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. If you enjoyed this content, even the least, throw it a thumbs up. That is very helpful. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and then click this little button over here. So when I go live, when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And I might be going live tonight. It is Friday. You want to click that button so you'll be notified. Also, if you want to get more Starlink content, I put together a Starlink playlist. Go check that out when you're done watching this video. And if you just want to say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button down there that you can click and give a dollar or two to the channel if you want. But if not, that's okay. Also, consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. We would love to have you. So let's get into this. I was reading an article over on Gizmodo, also on Space Explored and a bunch of other articles. And one of them that I guess consolidates things a little bit was the one that came out of Space Explored. So I'm going to read some of this to you and give you my thoughts and predictions of what's going to be going on and what will be going on. And more importantly, I want to hear from you. What do you think? Down below in the comment area, let's have this discussion. So the article starts out like this. SpaceX has encountered issues with its brand new version 2 mini Starlink satellites. Avid watchers of the company's satellites have spotted them lowering their altitude over the last week. That's not good because no Normally they go up to about, let's say, 400 kilometers, 450 kilometers, and they slowly inch up into that 550 kilometers operational height. But by coming back down, that's a problem. And that's what's going on here. SpaceX recently unveiled its first batch of 21 next generation Starlink satellites, launching them on board a Falcon 9 rocket on February 27th. The version 2 minis are miniaturized versions of SpaceX's full-size next generation Starlink satellites. Equipped with more powerful antennas and high-speed frequencies, the version 2 minis are meant to help SpaceX increase the capacity of its internet mega constellation. The version 2 minis are designed to temporarily fill the gap for the increase in demand on SpaceX Starlink's network until the company can launch a full-size version of its next-generation satellites. Unfortunately, the full-size version 2s can't fit inside of a Falcon 9 rocket. Instead, SpaceX is waiting on the launch of Starship's mega rocket that is designed to handle larger payloads. So that's a little backstory of what's going on here. The version 2s, or the full-size version 2s, will not fit in a Falcon 9 rocket, at least economically. They could probably put like one or two in there. That's just not going to work. So they're waiting for that massive payload that will be able to get a lot of them into orbit at a time, but they need to wait for the Starship to start launching into orbit. It's not there yet, but it's coming soon. 
The article continues. Speculation was circulating yesterday that SpaceX's new Starlink satellites launched in February were experiencing some problems in orbit. The first thoughts by astronomers were that SpaceX was debugging the first batch of version 2 satellites. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk was the one to confirm the troubles the company was having with the satellites. Quote, lots of new technology in Starlink version 2. So we're experiencing some issues as expected, he said. Some sats will be deorbited. Others will be tested thoroughly before rising altitude above space station. Right now, all of SpaceX's first version 2 mini satellites are still in orbit, but we expect some to start re-entering Earth's atmosphere soon. When SpaceX gained the ability to launch its new Starlink satellite variant, we expected to see a lot more launches already. We now know that the company has run into some issues, which possibly explains why SpaceX has seemingly returned to launching its previous satellite version, even into version 2 orbits. And that's why I was saying, when I saw that there was 56 satellites on board this Falcon 9 that was going out of Cape Canaveral today, I'm like, that doesn't make sense. We are now moving or transitioning into the version 2 minis. Why would there be 56? Well, once again, that's the reason. They're having problems and they can't just waste time. They need to constantly put more and more satellites into orbit. If they're version 1.5s or 2.0 minis. Either which way, they need to get some satellites up there. Once again, there is a ton of congestion and in my personal opinion, it is oversold. Okay, there is just not enough satellites out there to go around. So they need to keep on launching. Now, the article continues. SpaceX version two mini satellites are what they sound like. Miniature versions of a larger version two satellite expected to launch on Starship. Unfortunately, the Falcon 9 doesn't have the payload capacity to make it economical to launch full size version two Starlink satellites, just like I said earlier. Therefore, SpaceX created these intermediate versions of the new satellite satellites equipped with upgraded antennas and with four times the capacity as previous versions of satellites. 4X, guys, 4X. So that is a big difference. Once we see those version twos in operation, I think a lot of this congestion is going to go away. That's my speculation. 4X is a lot. The article finalizes with, I don't think anyone is surprised that the first batch of version 2 mini satellites ran into problems. There is always a learning curve when new hardware is launched into space. However, SpaceX, a company very well versed in operating satellites in space, should be able to adapt and return to launching version 2 mini soon. Now, their speculation is dead on target. The reason being is just today I found out from Space News an article stating that Elon, yes, was planning to launch another batch of version 2 minis before the end of this month. So that's only a week or so away. That's amazing. So obviously, in my personal opinion, I think that this is very good news. Why? Because obviously there's not that big of a problem with these version 2 minis that they're going to have to scrap it and go back to the drawing board. There must be either software issues or something that's not that big of a deal to correct to be able to launch a whole nother batch within a week or two. That to me means that there's not a hardware issue or very much of a hardware issue that needs to be addressed before launching the next batch. So while I do think that this is good news that we're going to see some new version 2 minis, what I think is going to be spectacular is some folks are going to hopefully in the night sky be able to see some of these satellites be deorbiting. And if that's the case, it's going to happen just like the last time when a bunch of, I think there were version 1.5s, ended up not making it into Leo due to some kind of electromagnetic storm. It was a beautiful scene in the night sky seeing a firework display of all of these millions and millions and millions of dollars of satellites coming back into orbit and burning up. Anyways, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about this? What do you think about the version 2 satellites that are going to be going up the full size? Even these minis being four times the capacity, I think that is exciting in itself. Because once again, I do think that what's going to happen is we're going to end up with less congestion, number one. And we're also going to see quicker speeds. Now, will we actually see the quicker speeds is really untold. They might be pushing those speeds to everyone and kind of 
divvying out using, of course, just like I've always said, some type of throttling. And just one minute before recording this video, I did a speed test, as I always do. And this is what I found. 249.97, almost 250 megabits down and just under 15 megabits up. That is extremely fast. I haven't seen those speeds in a long time. We see the download speed has a little bit more breadth to it. I don't feel like it's being throttled as much. I think the throttling that's happening on the down speed is based on congestion. How many people are using the network? Where is that up speed? When they tell you they're going to give you 10, that's about what they want to give you is 10. So for the most part, I'm seeing about 6, 7, 8, sometimes 10, 10.5. Seeing just under 15 is really quite good. Now, good is all relative. When I first started this, I was sitting at about 35 to 40 megabits up. Now we're down to 10 to 15. I'm still okay with it because it's literally 10 times the speed as what I was getting with AT&T's garbage U-verse and DSL. Garbage. And if you are using any other type of satellite service that is geolocated in comparison to Leo located, for example, Viasat or HughesNet, these numbers are amazing to you also. And just the latency is amazing. So at any rate, once again, I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment area. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you're currently getting with your speeds. What is your up speed? What is your down speed as of today? Stick that down in the comment area. Let's have this discussion so we can see what everyone is getting. And by all means, put your location. So I'm in South Florida and I'm getting 250 down and let's say 15 up. Where are you located and what kind of speeds are you currently getting? Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, throw it a thumbs up. That would be great. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click this button. Do all of those things. If you just want to say thank you, there's a thank you button. And if you want more Starlink content, as I said before, there is a Starlink playlist like here or just go over to the channel. Check out the Starlink playlist. There's about 130 videos over there. Go check them out. There's a lot of helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy. And most importantly, as I always say, guys, why? This channel is all about the why. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for the end of the vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all. 